Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, just do me a favor. Ensure you like the video. I will appreciate you so much for that like. Now, Kenyans, Ohuru Megai Kenyatta, through his close allies and his jubilee party, the coming out, and especially himself, distancing himself from Raila Odinga's statement. In other words, Ohuru Kenyatta is telling Kenyans that this story that Raila Odinga is telling you, that I call him, personally he called Raila Odinga to go and rescue William Samoe Ruto, that is a lie. And that is according to the statement and the press briefing that is just coming from the Jubilee Party a few hours ago. I want you to listen to Jeremiah Kioni and the message of Ohuru Mwegae Kenyatta, then we continue. So I am attending a press conference at the Jubilee Party headquarters and this man here, his name is Jeremiah Kioni, he's a Secretary General of Jubilee Party and he says from yesterday's statement by Raila Odinga that he spoke to Uhuru Kenyatta or it is Uhuru Kenyatta who told him to join and support President William Ruto. You have said in no uncertain terms that Raila Odinga was lying to the country. Why is that? Uhuru Kenyatta's position is that you cannot join a government that is uh, bent on causing all the havoc that it has caused on Kenyans. Killing them, abducting them, removing all the social support system that was there. Through budgeted corruption, you can see wastage of resources. This is not a government to join. It is actually a government that we should be working to remove as provided for in the constitution. And Uhuru did communicate to Kenyans through his letter that he was uh, uh, consumed by Kenyans during, I think it was on the 25th of July. Uh, and if you want to know his thinking, his position, and uh, why you have to really be careful about what Raida said yesterday and what I hold to be untrue, it is not accurate, uh, then you know that um, um, what Uhuru Raida said yesterday was really a misleading position. As you, we are not disputing the fact that you are the SG of the party that Uhuru Kenyatta leads, that's yes. the Jubilee party, mm. but we also acknowledge that there has been a very good camaraderie between Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta for the past two years. Yes. So why would you put a doubt in what Odinga says as Uhuru having told him on phone? On two, three occasions I can tell you, even on the issue of Nandiko, the position, the advices were uh, separate, and I can also tell you, when Uhuru, when Laira was also engaging Obasajo, it was not with the full knowledge of all of us in Azimio. We were running of it an after effect, after the event. So, a good relationship is there, but it is not good again to drag other people's names into the mud. Kama umeamua, amua. Why was there a good relationship? Because the, both of them are politicians. So when you make a decision, as Uhuru did make a decision of going to Kasarani and handing over the instruments of power, even when he had his reasons and he knew that elections had been rigged. That's a decision he has, he has chosen to live with. He has never told us that uh, Raila told him to go. No. So, so Raila lied. Don't, don't blame others. Don't try to blame others. When you make wrong decisions, live with them. The decision that was made by Raila is a wrong decision. And I'm sure he will be saying many things that are not accurate, including what he said to Kumara. <laughs> well, uh, something else you've said that is very important, that all along, even while Raila Odinga was engaging Obasanjo, the rest of you at Azimio did not know. We learned of it. We were learning of those things as after effects, after the event. Kwa hivo, aka kasafali ya kuenda, watu wa dianza kitambo. Sisi tumekuwa tumejaribu kumwambia jamani musiende mnaenda pali ambayo haifai mnaacha wa Kenya sasa wameruka dani so very briefly yeah. and even as i conclude uh. you've said that there are now two ballots Kalonzo Musyoka's ballot and William Ruto's ballot yeah. what does that mean are you endorsing Kalonzo Musyoka or are you saying that we in Azimio mm -hmm. is a coalition that is in the opposition the coalition that has put together the opposition for the time being in this country and it is the, the opposition, the coalition that associates with Gen Z in our Kenya. Mm -hmm. Nasisi kama our bow wako dani azmio. We had Raida 
as our presidential candidate. He has now left for AU. In politics, you must look ahead. There's no vacuum. There's no vacuum. That hole has now been filled by Kanonso. Musioka. Does a clarion call Does a clarion call Ruto must go still stand? And if it does, then does it mean that even those who've joined him, Zoho, Ambadi, Oparanya and uh, Wandai, should equally go? And will that extend to mean by Ruto will, uh, must go? When we say Ruto must go, it is everything Ruto is in. You know, when they started trying to become mischievous, they started saying we are saying Ruto so that we are left with Rigiji. So when we say Ruto must go, the body said this is a skunk. He has now joined the skunk. And you are saying the skunk, the skunk must go. So body, Joho, Mparanya, Wadai, Lafikiangu. So that's what I'm going they all must go. Does that extend to Ray Lodinga? Ata hiya mwenye wa kama amengia pandiyo. Si ata hiya wana Kenya mwenye wana sema must go. Si na wana hashtag. Yes. Ruto Laira must go. Who am I? Thank you very much. Tupangu wana jenzi hapa muna leta mchezo nyingi. Thank you very much. That is the Jubilee Party Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni who's just finished addressing a press conference here in Nairobi. Now Kenyans, naona kiki umana. Because when you clearly understand what Jeremiah Kioni is telling you, is that that cleaning Raila Odinga, even when they started having these talks with Ombasaju, the former president of Nigeria, and William Ruto in Mombasa, it was secretive and even them, as in your members, they never knew anything. So all along, Raila Odinga has been doing this on their own benefit, not the benefit of the Azimiolo Moja One Kenya Coalition. I've seen a newspaper see that Raila Achanganya Kalonzo Msioka. It is truth because you cannot understand clearly what Raila Odinga is trying to do. Because for me, what I told you earlier on was Raila Odinga was to lean on the government side for him to get a support in his AUC bid, African Union Commission Chair bid, so that he can get support. Because remember when he's moving from one country to the other in Africa, campaigning, he must be funded with money and secretariat prepared by the government of the day. And remember this money is coming from the government of the day. And so he must lean towards the government of the day. Another thing I told you here, earlier on, Uhuru Kenyatta had requested Raila Odinga to quit the African Union Commission bid because he was looking like a puppet to William Samoy Ruto, that he was no longer having a stand. Rather, his supporters were waiting for him to have a clear path for them to follow. Little did they uh, realized that Raila Odinga is eventually preparing his way to African Union Commission. So Uru Kenyatta had requested Raila Odinga to reject that seat and come home for them to prepare the ground so that in 2027 he become the president. On the other side, the team of Raila Odinga and their close allies, ODM party, see that if Uru Kenyatta is promising that, Ninini Limfanya as make Raila Odinga president in 2022. And so they are feeling like the promises of Uru Kenyatta is empty. So those are the narratives ahead. And we were confirmed that these are the issues. These are the issues that, is, uh, that Uru Kenyatta is trying to raise. But one day ago, Raila Odinga, not even one day ago, yesterday, Raila Odinga claimed that Uhuru Kenyatta had called him to go and rescue William Samoe Ruto from the wrath of the Genesis. So Uhuru Kenyatta, through his party, where he is still the party leader there, uh, Jeremiah Kion, the Secretary General, claims that nothing like that. Uhuru Kenyatta is saying he never called Raila Amorodinga. So these issues you are just hearing is just PRs. You know, it's just PR. So I think for me, kuna kitu hapa hatuwele we, which for me I don't want to judge, but ukweli wa mambo hapa, number one, Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa nataka, Raila Udinga wachani na EU, 
arudi Kenya abambane na hii punitive government of William Ruto. Hiyo ni statement ya kwanza tuliambiwa na no wali confirm uhuru Kenyatta even call Raila Odinga in Dubai and th- not even calling through a phone. Raila Odinga ali fly from Kenya to Dubai. We can have a meeting there. We were having assurance that Raila Odinga was going to drop the AU then he is coming back to squeeze you jamaa inde nyumbani kwa sababu kuna kitu anafanya. But that is a statement number one. Number two, Raila Odinga claimed that William Ruto went to request for assistance because of the wrath of the people. Number three, yesterday Raila Odinga is saying that Uhuru Kenyatta called him to go and rescue William Ruto from the wrath of the people. So there are several statements hapa at a political class that just play with our minds. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.